In this presentation, I'm going to talk about Persia americana, otherwise known as the avocado. I'm going to talk about the biological and chemical characteristics of both the avocado fruit and the plant, as well as discuss its traditional uses, economic importance, and its classification and emergence as a superfood or health food in the United States specifically. First of all, it is important to mention that there are many different kinds of avocados, but they can all be classified under three main varieties. Persia Americana variation germifolia, which is known as the Mexican race, Persia Americana variation guatemalensis, which is known as the Guatemalan race, and Persia Americana variation Americana, which is known as the West Indian race, but is most commonly found in Florida. Many of the avocados eaten today, however, are different hybrid versions of these three variations, such as Haas or Fuerte. The avocado, an evergreen tree, is part of the Laureaceae family, which is usually characterized by its large waxy leaves. The flowers of the avocado are light yellow or green bisexual trimeric flowers. The fruit of the avocado has a very wide range of appearance due to these many varieties, but the color ranges between light to dark green or dark purple to black. The skin can be thin and smooth or thick and bumpy. The avocado fruit is also characterized by its unique creamy and smooth texture and contains one large brown or black seed in the center. Also, some varieties have been described as anise scented. The avocado is most common in the subtropical highlands of North and Central America. It prefers bright, clear weather and is very sensitive to frost and cool winds. It grows best at a temperature above 56 degrees Fahrenheit and is sensitive to well-drained soil. The avocado originated in Central Mexico and Eastern South America. The earliest traces were in the Tehuacan Valley of Puebla, Mexico, around 8,000 BC. Another interesting fact was that it was probably domesticated three separate times in three separate locations, which is probably what caused the appearance of these three distinct varieties. The avocado spread from central Mexico to Central and South America, and then with the arrival of the conquistadors from Europe, it was brought by them to the Caribbean and Florida, and then on to the rest of the world. The avocado is now grown throughout the world, but still mainly in Central and South America. As mentioned, the oldest evidence of the avocado is from around 8,000 BC, where there is evidence that it might have been eaten as a food, but it was almost entirely eaten raw and fresh due to the fact that the flesh easily oxidizes and there was no way to preserve it. The avocado was also important in the Aztec civilization and was referred to as the fertility fruit due to the fact that its shape resembles that of male testicles. It therefore had a sexual connotation in the Aztec culture. The first written mention of the avocado was in a journal written by Christopher Columbus during his conquest of Mexico. A liquid found in the seed of the avocado was also used as a ink by the conquistadors due to the fact that it turned red when exposed to air. In terms of traditional medicinal uses for the avocado, many different parts of the plants were used to treat various ailments, such as hypertension or diarrhea. It is also included in the humoral theory of medicine practiced by some Caribbean islands such as Cuba and Dominicana, and therefore considered to be a cold remedy that is used to treat diseases that are classified as hot diseases, such as infection or inflammation. It was also used for beautification, such as to add luster to hair or to smooth the skin. The avocado is a very nutritionally dense fruit. It has an average of 50 calories per ounce, 75% of which come directly from fat. It also contains a very high amount of monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which include omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. It is also very high in protein and fiber, low in carbohydrates, and a good source of vitamins B, E, A, and K, as well as potassium. The avocado also contains many secondary metabolites, otherwise known as allelochemicals, which are chemicals not directly involved in growth and function of the plant, but important for its communication with the world around it. For example, there are many tannins, carotenoids, and phenolics in the seed. This relates back to its medicinal uses because tannins are known to help with diarrhea due to the fact that they tighten the intestinal tract. Several studies have been done on the biological activity of the avocado fruit. For example, one study showed that the avocado had an effect on the blood serum cholesterol levels. Other parts of the plant have also been found to contain biologically active compounds, such as antioxidant and antimicrobial properties found in the seed, as well as anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties. Also, the leaves contain persin, which is a compound toxic to many animals. Here's a diagram showing the food medicine continuum for the avocado. 
This shows how the avocado has many uses and not always specifically as a food or medicine, but also somewhere in between. Not all uses are purely food or medicinal. The avocado is also a very important functional food, which falls somewhere in the middle of this continuum. This is a food that is consumed for its sustenance and energetic value, as well as its potential medicinal properties. The avocado is not only important due to its chemistry and biological properties, but also due to its economic impact on the food industries of many countries. The top five countries in the avocado export are Mexico, Indonesia, United States, Colombia, and Brazil, but it is especially important in the agricultural economy of Mexico. Also, in terms of just the United States avocado production, about 85% of the avocados are from California, while 15% are from Florida. And in terms of U.S. imports, the U.S. imports about half of its avocados from Chile and the other half from Mexico. While the avocado is a very important food in Central and South America, culturally and economically, I think that its emergence into the United States food culture is especially interesting. In a culture of fast food and heavily processed, artificially engineered foods, the avocado is a refreshing change, and many marketing strategies by the California as well as the Mexican Avocado Commission stress this. It is being marketed as a health food or a functional food because of its nutritional components. And while this is excellent, it is also important to note that the United States market might have already started to take it too far. For example, this is the Slim Cotto, which is basically a version of the Florida avocado, which is being marketed as having 35% less calories and 50% less fat. This is therefore being marketed as a diet or health food. But if you look closely at the serving sizes, as well as the size of the avocado, it is almost the exact same as a regular avocado. Also, as I mentioned earlier, the fat found in avocados is good fat. It is monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. That is the kind of fat that is important in including in your everyday diet and which leads to many of the health benefits discussed earlier. Also, processed versions of the avocado have begun to emerge in grocery stores throughout the United States. So while it's good that we have ad campaigns, such as those done by the Mexican Avocado Commission, showing people how they can use avocados in their everyday diet, there are also many examples of the American food industry taking it too far. They are taking a health food and ruining what makes it healthy by adding a large amount of preservative chemicals that may or may not have a detrimental health impact. Therefore, while the avocado has a very important role as a health food in the United States, it is important to be wary of the processed versions found in the U.S. today because they may have little in common with the avocado in its original whole form, which has a very important traditional and nutritional value throughout the world.